Greetings, fair viewers, and welcome to Arcanum of Steamworks and Magic Obscura. This is Future Jason, recorded somewhat after the fact, as at this point there was a catastrophic crash and we had to reload from a saved game. However, at this stage, our intrepid gentleman adventurer, Jack Hunt, is presently infiltrating Black Root, a town in, a town in northern Cumbria, in search of the taxes owed to its king. Okay, not really sure what happened there, some sort of crash, but uh, we're here at the train station, and that halfling said something about going west, so let's take a look, see. Let's go this path here, and there we go. Thief. Oh, finally some men after my own heart. Hmm. Right. We do not associate with your kind around here, half cork. I'm just looking for some friendly company. The light conversation you won't find here, thief. My friend, we're thieves, and if you speak our language. I'm sorry, I'd mistaken you for blithering idiots. A quick tongue will get your throat cast slit out here. Stranger, the next time it's your life. Please forgive my brashness. Only once. State your business and keep your hands in a clear view. I'm just looking for work. As a matter of fact, there is an opportunity available if you're up to the task. Tell me of it. There are two jobs, but you can only choose one, so do so carefully. The other one job is for a good thief, the other for a master in commerce. And really, what's the difference between the two? Frankly, I'm not a particularly good thief. Um, I might do better just buying things. <laughs> no merchant's price is safe from me. As thieves, we have a great need for poisons. Unfortunately, Grunwald is the only man in Blank Blackrood who makes poisons, and he won't sell us any. Get him to sell you some poison and bring it back to me. What's in it for me? If you succeed, I'll give you everything we recently procured from Blackfruit, including some of the Mayor's personal items. Done. Let's uh, use fast travel. Well, semi fast travel for this. More like just waypoint travel. Like me, apparently. No waypoint travel for you, son. Oh, very well then. Shot. Mm -hmm. So, Jaina, what do you think of Blackroot? It's not exactly a city, but it still beats the crap out of Dernholm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop by Garrett's later, get some decent weapons. Grunwald, have you a moment? Hmm. I'm interested in buying some, buying some poison. <laughs> really? Well, I don't just sell to, sell to just anyone, I'm a man of principle, and I'd hate for my product to fall into the wrong hands. It seems I have an infestation problem. I might be able to help you with that. What seems to be the problem? I've got a rat. I've got a rat problem. Hmm, my poisons are strong, friend. Just how big are they? Uh, big as orcs. Full orcs. They look like orcs, too. Orcs, why didn't you tell me? No love for the buggers. Yeah, I, I picked that up. Of course I'll sell to you. That's grand. What's your price? 100 gold coins. No more, no less. <sighs> hmm. Yes, yeah, alright. Fine. Come back when you've got enough money. I don't really have enough money. This is a shame. I should just steal it from you. Alright, let's um 
Nothing worth selling. I suppose we could sell some of these, some of our spare healing cells. See if the inventor will take them. So we'll so. No. No. Hmm. Not the inventor then. The junker perhaps, but well, you're know, talking to him. Ah, I'd rather not just kill Grunwald. No. No. No murdering Grunwald. We just need a fair bit more money than we have. I suppose we won't be able to sell one of these grenades. <sighs> we could just find some decent revolvers. No? Okay. What about this one? Will we buy anything? Can you help me with something? I'm interested in trading. I suppose you want to buy any of this? Nope. No. Of course not. What about this fellow? Daniel, I don't suppose I can purchase anything from you. Your orcs are always causing trouble. There's no time for it. There's no need for ruinous, Mr. Holloway. What's the current gossip? I've seen Killian Drake down at the Sour Barnacle. I've seen never seen a lucky dice player in my life. No, but thank you. Actually, I was wondering, can you do persuasion <laughs> persuasion training? But it will cost more than I have. No. Uh, short of just picking things up and s crap up and selling it, I admit I'm stumped. Only really useful if what I need from the thieves is more expensive than the cost I can purchase. Uh, trouble, trouble, trouble. Alright. Let's talk to that junker out here. Maybe we can sell him some of these medicinal works we've got. Good. Yes. 11 coins. 22, 33 coins would be that useful. Ah, but the stun grenades! The stun grenades who will buy, yes sir. Please, take them. <sighs> oh, okay, we can afford this poison now. Why are we doing this? I assume in the hopes of selling off these. Yes. Honestly, I'm doing this mostly so that we don't get killed by some thieves. We might end up having to kill those thieves anyway. You know what? The time for gentlemanly clothing is over. I'm putting on something protective, and I'm going to be running around angering violent reprobates. Not you, Virgil. <laughs> Frankly, we are, but violent reprobates really are. Grenwald. Yes. Um. Right. 100 coins. Poison is yours. Good luck with those rats. Thank you. And good day. Does the technologist sell. Thermometers. I'm just curious. No, that is a shame. Oh, well. uh, honestly, so annoying. I'll just take these. We'll go back into town. I really should have stolen something. That would have been easier. No, oh, well, no, no. Take these, we'll go back into town, we'll sell them to the junk, whatever this crap is that we've stolen. Sell it to the junk, junker. Maybe murder these sons of as soon as these sons of mothers as soon as we can. Here's the bottle of poison, I'd like my payment. Very well done. You've earned these items. Thank you. Your actions are becoming questionable. But they are. Jaina, I don't think uh do you know about this place? I say I haven't seen much of the friend, but I'll keep my eyes open for you. Yeah, she doesn't entirely appreciate the 
acts of thievery we occasionally engage in. Smart thieves never do business with the same person twice. Good day to you. You know what? I want to come back in the middle of the night and kill you all. I think that would be entirely reasonable. Let's go get some rest, ladies, gentlemen. Look, well, lady and gentlemen. We can engage in some entirely righteous murder later. <sighs> Got what I want from the re no die cap from them anyway. Vase, music box, silver ceremonial dagger. Nothing really interesting, frankly. Which is a shame. Oh, and a candlestick, lovely. Well, we'll sell all that for later. Ugh. Give it a couple of hours so that they're all in bed. Now then, let's go kill some thieves. Frankly, I feel somewhat cheated and I want my gold back. And this seems as fine a time as any to do it. You, sirs, do not swindle Jack Hunt. Don't sleep, dear. Well, then this will be interesting. He's the, looks the most dangerous. Probably the elf himself. Alright then. Jonah? Jonah, why don't you come over here and wait for the moment? Okay. Yeah. Uh, wait here for a little bit. Yes, thank you. Right, save game, save game. <laughs> Dark Tom, I've decided to renegotiate the terms of our arrangement. Pray I do not renegotiate them further. Oof, good lord. This is not looking encouraging. Very much not encouraging. Oh dear. You know what? I have another plan. We'll just be right back. I've I decided to renegotiate the terms of our arrangement. Explicitly. Sometimes you can't just shoot all your problems. Sometimes you need to violently explode them instead. And sometimes you fuck up basic throwing ability and <laughs> end up... ineffectively killing his henchmen. Frankly, ineffectively barely even injuring his henchmen. <sighs> right. This is good. I feel we may be woefully inadequate to this task, you know? Yeah. Let's, um... La 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 la! <laughs> well, at least managed to do in that one. Let's see if the stun grenade can't make a difference. Tan's still unconscious, which is good. Yeah. But that half ogre really is not so good. Yeah. 
I feel like perhaps this may just be a poor idea and maybe we should back off and do something else entirely for a bit. Yeah. Um, what? <laughs> well, that was at least briefly satisfying. I will not do that, sir. All right. You know what? Let's go investigate that workshop. I'm sure it's... Uh, Jane and Sweetheart, yeah, we, we've aborted the plan. Come back with us, would you? You can stop waiting now. Fine by me. Let's get going. Yeah, I, I agree. La 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 la. How long has it been now? Huh. It's already the 9th of February. Ah. What have we got? Looks like we found this gentleman's hut at least. Some various things. Gears, steel, springs. Let's head off maybe a revolver to the cap. Some sort of locked chest. Cabinet. Oh. Drawers with Monroe's cleaner, bread and water, and a dresser. Oh, the journal. Let's take a look. Oh, not the one out of the house by accident. December 12th, 1884. Okay, so just a couple months ago. My latest invention is nearing completion. I'm having some difficulty regulating the magnetic flow along the conductive path. Yet I am hopeful that I will solve the dilemma shortly. Lear. January 8th, 1885. I have encountered a strange beast today. It appeared to be a large glowing light. Yet as I watched its blue glow hover through the trees, a deathly chill swept over me. I left the area immediately. Lear. January 13th, 1885. Again, I have seen a strange beast. It appeared in countenance to be some devilish cross betwixt an ordinary pig and some sort of bald like creature. As before, I was able to avoid confronting the creature. Leo. Yeah. January 18th, 1885. My progress on my latest project has faltered. The woods are dis haunted by all manner of strange beasts. I must discover what has happened and try to set it to right. Right. January 29th, 1885. I have found it! After much searching of the forest, I found the demon light from which the beasts are emanating. It appears to be some type of vortex or portal. The beasts come forth from its interior with what appears to be no set order. I have some scrolls to disperse magic on hand. I pray they are enough to destroy the portal. There. February 4th, 1880, uh, 1885. Oh, close. Alas, the scroll was a failure. It appears my techno seems my technological de demeanour has become such that even the smallest of magics will no longer function in my presence. I sustained minor wounds during, ba during battle with a beastly lizard creature. I must design a mechanical means of closing the portal. Leon. February 7th. I must, I must make haste. I believe the contraption I have put aside may be my only hope. I have designed a mechanism that, when employed, should cap the portal, sealing it from this side. I need only make a few more adjustments and it will be ready. Leo. February the 9th, 1885. It is ready. I have given it the simple nomenclature, Magic Trap. I have made two, one as a reserve. I leave immediately to seal the portal. I shall try my best to avoid the creatures roaming rampant through the wood. If I fail, I beg those who read this journal to attend to my mother, Mrs. Cameron, in Blackfoot. May the gods preserve us, Liam Cameron. Lorraine's teeth. He must have only just set out within the last couple of hours. Well, let's go and try and retrieve him for his mother. After all, he might be able to pay us. Um, okay, at this point I'm now wandering through the woods in a desperate attempt to find someone I have no idea how to locate. It's probably not for the best. I don't suppose that Virgil, I don't suppose you have any uh, capacity for tracking, do you? Any secret knowledge of which I'm unaware? No? No. 
No. Wombling, wombling, yes, wombling through the woods. Might well be my best option at this rate. Where did you say that portal was? Was it to the west? Okay, so, going from the house then, ah, okay, there's a path that leads on. Hopefully, if we follow the path, we might encounter one of these creatures somewhere. Really, that might be the best we can hope for. What a lovely stroll through the woods we're having, isn't it? What do you think, Virgil? Jaina? Yes. We're having a gay old time, I'm sure. Oh dear lord, what the... Aha! Pig lizard beast! Kill it! Kill it! Kill it whilst I move to a safe distance. Apply some technological healing. Do exactly the same to Jaina here. Jaina, perhaps you should run away. I don't think this has any slight on your abilities, but nevertheless. Jane, drink some bloody potions, would you? Nope. <laughs> no, that certainly didn't work. Nothing. Oh, thank goodness. My morals are eroding. I think you'll find that my morals have improved. Oh, let's rest for an hour. What we could really use right now is some more technological healing, but I think we may be right out of that. I know not what these monsters are, but I know that if we wish to stop them, we need more bullets. Right. What we need is someone competent. Uh, right. What can we do? What can we do? Well, frankly, we can. No, this shot might be killing some of those thieves and taking their armor. Of course, 
as we've proved, that has its own difficulties. Oh dear, let's see what, what we can do. Oh, oh my. these creatures. Ugh. So we should just simply run. Not your best. Oh no. Um. Okay, that's it. I think it is time and time beyond we all run away. Nope, Jane is just going to be dead. I agree! Why won't you? I think we may be outclassed here. It's time we run back to town, get some bullets, and maybe get some better equipment and help. Okay, missed that, but uh, used up both my grenades, <laughs> and it is vaguely, vaguely dead. Ugh. We really should not hang around here. Oh hell! You know what? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this is a terrible idea. No! <coughs> Never mind. Okay, there must be a less direct way around than just following the path, because if we follow the path, we're going to get murdered. Okay, so if you just stay out of sight of that horrible floating jellyfish thing over there. Feel that probably is our our friendly Right, let's take a shot with these. <laughs> oh dear. Let's try that again. Well, I'm glad we have that at least. Oh, come on. Ninety one per cent, but I still can't hit that. <laughs> Punch you to death with dwarven gauntleted fists, I will. Uh, let's try once again. <laughs> One of these days we shall be competent. One day. But not this day. Okay. Oh. Okay, explosives first, then stunning. The stunning, the explosives wake him up. This would be much easier if I had him thrown scared, but that's not really my design. Okay, that broadly worked. Nope. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, okay. Right, okay. 
Take it. Punch you to death now. Okay. Uh, it's cowardly, scummy tactics, I know, but we want to actually get through this game somehow. An axe! And ah, the magical trap. Okay. So, poison things. These will be completely useless in this situation, but I want them, I'm going to have them just in case. And. What is it that you want of me? Yeah, do you want an axe, Virgil? Right. Feel it would be useful to you. Let's give you an axe. We'll give Jaina the staff, and then oh dear, oh dear. Spent far too much time hanging around there. Let's uh, do that in a more so stable location. Yep. Come on, guys. Get all this shit on us. Run away. Into the. Okay, well, folks, into the woods, into the woods, we're safe. <laughs> we're going to accomplish this mission through sheer what cowardice. That That's okay. Cowardice is our strongest trait. Jay, do you think we um, just. Just give you that. Trap in the hot bar so it's easy to use. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so now we just need to follow a little bit further along so that we don't get caught and eaten by anything. And oh dear. So here's the thing this portal will continue to spawn creatures for as long as you let it. Um, and well, not entirely, but you know, it's one of a good hundred creatures. Right? It's one of new ones every time you kill them. And if you're strong enough, you can use this in a, as a slightly scummy way to level up quickly. I've, I've done it before, and you can gain about like eight levels just killing things, provided your basic combat skills are good enough to do so. Mine aren't. So we're going to do this a different way. We're going to run desperately into the middle and clamp this min uh, this trap atop. <laughs> atop the portal itself. <laughs> Literally just running up to it and as you'll notice when we get out of combat. Oh, the area is suddenly safe. Whatever these creatures are they have some sort of link to the realm from which they've come. And when you break that link, you can't survive. Which is really for the best, because they would have killed us so badly. Okay, guys. Okay. Let's go home. <laughs> well, we can't go home. We can get to Calden, but let's... Let's just get to Black Root. Tell the poor woman about her son's death and not have to deal with any more goddamned hell monsters.